so we have to calculate the pH of solution so we have to calculate pH of solution so what are the thing that is given so you have on uh, left side you have hydrogen to H plus this is one electrode so H2 goes to 2H plus or I can write 1H plus half let us say write in terms of one electron things is easy so half H2 H plus plus one electron now E degree for this cell is 0 because this is the standard cell now left side you have calomel electrode that is uh, this goes to reduction because one is oxidation this side we have oxidation generally we write left side oxidation this is oxidation so this side I will write reduction as the 2 Cl2 plus 2 electron and then this side will have SZ 2SZ plus 2 Cl minus and our e degree for this cell is given so a standard oxidation potential of calomel electrode is this and now this is reduction potential so this becomes 0.28 volt now if we want to add these two cells basically I have to multiply the first equation by 2 so let us write again the equation 1 by multiply 2 so if I write so this becomes H2 and this side we will have 2H plus and plus 2 electron and a degree does not get multiplied so this is 0 now if I add these two reactions 2 electron 2 electron cancels so I will have Z2Cl2 this is a basically solid plus H2 this is a gas and 2SZ is a liquid pure liquid 2Cl minus plus 2H plus now these two things are equals concentration of Cl minus would be given uh, this is hydrogen is one H at one atmospheric pressure and the concentration of this is this is the oxidation potential of calomel electrode on hydrogen is minus 0.21 so the minus 0.28 so we will assume this is a standard calomel electrode are you getting out so Cl minus concentration is already included in this one so H2 is one atmospheric pressure and we have to calculate concentration of H plus that is X and now E cell is minus 0.28 the EM of this cell is 0.67 so let's say uh, E degree of this cell is this plus this that is 0.28 now I can write at non standard condition E cell E cell is equals to E degree minus 0 0.0592 divided by 2 log of Cl minus raised to the power 2 but Cl minus is a standard condition I will assume this is a 1 m Cl minus is 1 m so no need to write so simply I have to write concentration of H plus raised to the power 2 now E cell is given this value is 0 0.67 volt so this value is 0 0.67 and E degree cell we have already calculated this is E degree cell is 0 0.28 so this is 0 0.28 minus this 2 to go so I will have 0 0.0592 and this is log H plus I am I have to calculate basically pH so things are very easy pH is minus log of H plus are you getting or not so let us say I can write 0 0.67 minus 0 0.28 divided by 0 0.0592 and this is nothing but minus log of H plus and minus log of H plus is nothing but pH so now I can write pH is simply 0 0.67 minus 0.28 and this divided by 0 0.0592 so you can calculate this value so let us say we will have 0 0.69 minus 0 0.67 minus 0.0 2 9 2 8 let us put a 0 because I think this calculator does not work if I does not write a 0 this is 0 and this divided by 0 0.0592 so let us calculate this value this comes out to 6.587 so around pH is 6.58 so pH is around 6 so acidic pH so almost neutral around 7 so pH is 6.58 let us check this value 
this is 6.61 almost same so this is almost neutral pH so I can say this is around neutral pH around neutral pH or you can say solution is slightly acidic solution is weakly acidic are getting or not so this is weakly acidic in nature important point we have in this problem that is the Cl minus I does not have to include this Cl minus in a chlorinium constant because this point to it that this value is given a standard potential this value is given if this is a standard in that case Cl minus is 1 m if this is not a standard then that case also Cl minus is included saturated if this is saturated with Cl minus E degree is included in Cl, Cl minus is included in E degree are you getting or not so I can write here concentration of Cl minus is included included in E degree of calomel electrode so this is important E degree of calomel electrode so there is no need to correct this one and this remains constant and concentration of Cl minus remains constant Cl minus remains constant so this is another important point we have 